mustard piece. Welcome to my channel. My name is Attila and this is mustard piece. So today will be the start of a series of videos where I show you how I made the competition piece for the Wizardian wood. So what is the piece? I made a life-size medieval flay with the difficulty and details that could be pretty much presented to a king. Spoiler alert, I did not win anything. So let's just say the judges were looking for much more traditional approach than what I am willing to bring to the table. So I have realized this competition is not really for me and the mentality of this competition is not something that would satisfy my hunger and that's not something that that I am shooting for. That's that's the only thing I want to say about this, no more. Okay, definitely going to go with the smaller jaws. So change the chalk. Here's the plan. So this is the handle or the shaft. This is my hand compared to it. This is the maximum I can turn on my lathe. I cannot turn anything longer than this, but I think it will be long enough. See, that's, that's good. That's a good size. Let's go with this. Okay, so this is going to be the handle. So let's uh, glue it together. Hopefully these lines will be there and gives some kind of continuity to the project. So you can ask the question, why did I enter with a medieval flay and not with something that is more traditional? It's because I don't really do average projects. I only do things that that is exciting for me. This is not my job, this is my hobby. And uh, when I come home and work in my workshop, I want to have fun. So this is what I find exciting and you will see this project is no joke. It might look like one, but at the end, when I finish this project, you will see the level of difficulty and details and craftsmanship is, is there. Okay, handle is done. Now the guard. The guard going to be Cocobolo. How did I get the horse in it? Well, they grow like this on the tree. You just cut it off. It's guard shape. Let's do it. So there is one really positive thing that came out of this competition and you will see the quality of work that I produce here is much much higher than the quality that I normally produce for a video and if you are an artist a woodworker and you have never entered for a competition like this then I encourage you to do so because I learned so much about myself i learned so much about my limits and i learned so much about how where i want to go where i want to end up what's the quality that i am shooting for and you will see this is pretty much the only piece i have done that I am satisfied with, that I am proud of, regardless what the judges think of my piece. Ok, 
okay this is the next path same sported beach we are following the color scheme so by the way the plan that i show you in this video is constantly changing constantly evolving and becoming more and more difficult and this is pretty much the only piece where i restarted certain parts of a project just because i didn't like the wood grain so i have found a wood grain that i like much better and i just get rid of the piece and remake the whole thing Okay, let's make the bottom. messed up shouldn't have done that shouldn't have used the flat head uh, not sure what to do it's probably not going to I, I won't be able to fix it that's hundred percent there is no way I can fix it I have to modify the shape this is not the type of project that I can fix with glow okay let me think about this why don't I just get a new piece of wood and redo it? Simply because I don't have any more Coco Bolo. This is exotic wood, this is expensive, and I don't have any more. I mean, I have just enough for the next piece. So I need that. Okay, let's continue. Let's not break it. So I have just looked some historic photograph of medieval flays and they often attach chain to the back of the handle so you can just feed through your hand through the chain 
and that's basically securely attach your hand to the weapon when you swing it heavy weapon won't fly away from your hand I'm wondering if I can recreate that that would be a nightmare to carve the chain from one piece of wood but I think I can do it let's try that Mustard piece. I believe this is it for today guys. We will pick it up next week. Thanks for watching.